Hi, welcome back to another video. In this video I'm gonna give you five biggest lessons from Charles Dickens' uh, Christmas Story novel which was published in 1843, actually on, in December, uh, near to Christmas. So this is one story about uh, old man Scrooge uh, who actually learned a really huge lesson as Charles Dickens says uh, on the actually uh, end of the the book, uh, he uh, wanted to awaken uh, one a ghost of one idea. So uh, this idea, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna I'll let you know. I'm gonna share this idea with you, but at the end of this video, before that, and I'm gonna go over five biggest lessons uh, from this novel, uh, and it actually had has really huge lessons in the whole book really uh, evergreen book evergreen ideas and uh, let's start right away with the first lesson and the first lesson says that uh, every uh, man's soul has a duty to uh, walk through this uh, world through this life on this uh, on the earth uh, and uh, walk uh, to between uh, his uh, brothers and sisters uh, with his friends to talk to them, to interact with them, to actually live life with them, to really uh, get out and move actually, to, to travel. And if a soul doesn't accomplish that on this earth, in this life, it actually has to do that in the next life after death. And that's actually one way, uh, one, uh, way of punishing actually the, the soul, the person, because uh, there's, there was one uh, ghost actually, uh, ghost of uh, Jacob Marley and Jacob Marley was friend of Scrooge uh, on this earth they were doing business together but Jacob Marley was just doing just working just doing a uh, working business and he wasn't traveling wasn't living life uh, seeing his friends and now his soul was uh, traveling through the world and uh, going uh, visiting his all, all his friends and all, uh, also uh, his soul visited Scrooge and told him that Actually, uh, a soul has a duty to travel uh, and to move around in this world and if uh, it doesn't accomplish that in this life, it will do it in the next life and after death. And that's what Jacob Marley was doing and that was actually a sign for Scrooge to, to start to think about that change, which he, he did, uh, but it was really hard for and tough for him to, to understand that. But actually, you'll, you'll see in the novel that he actually did that successfully. So, uh, second, second biggest lesson is that people's paths uh, presuppose obvious goals, to which, if they per persist in them, those paths paths most certainly lead to. So, uh, people's in people's lives, in our everyday life, we have some goals that uh, are very actually clear, and our paths are actually directed. Uh, by default to those goals and uh, the, the only thing actually that's the easiest thing but also the hardest thing we have to do is just persist on those paths and be consistent and patient and if we are consistent and patient we'll eventually uh, achieve that goal we'll uh, arrive there because uh, if you're just if you're working uh, consistently and you're putting a lot in a lot of effort then it's just a matter of time when you're gonna accomplish that goal. It's not a question if I'm gonna succeed, but it's a question uh, when I'm gonna succeed. Because if you are uh, constantly working and putting in the effort uh, every day, you're, you just have to succeed. There's no way you won't succeed. And the only way you're, you won't succeed is if you give up. But if you don't give up, if you just continue to push, it's just a matter of time when you're gonna succeed. That's one mentality I I uh, started to practice a lot recently, and it gives you power to power to continue to work every day. And it, I believe that it's just a matter of time when you're gonna succeed if you're consist if you're consistent and you're putting in enough effort uh, and you're not giving up. You're just persisting in that path. The third lesson is not one quote. I'm gonna read it to you and it says uh, the best thing in all of that uh, was that the time that was ahead of him, ahead of Scrooge, uh, was his and, and he could improve himself in that time. 
So uh, that was that's quote from the end of the book uh, when Scrooge actually realized that uh, he has to change something in this life. He doesn't want to have uh, faith as Jacob Marley and his ghost. Uh, he wanted to change something. He had to change something, and he was really uh, lucky uh, to to realize that this time ahead of him is time to improve, and it was he. It was his time. He owned that time, and he should have used that in the best way possible. So uh, that was the moment when Scrooge realized, and that's actually a moment when we, every one of us, you and me, we should realize that. We have a lot of time, of course, if you're younger you have more time, if you're older you have a little bit less time, but you still have time to improve, that's your your time. No, no one can take that from you, only if you give it away, but you that's why you should be really, actually, uh, in one way selfish with your time, but it's your time for you to choose what you're gonna do, and it's your time to improve yourself, because if uh, you don't change anything, it will stay as it was, and as I was talking in the last video uh, from Paulo Coelho's Paulo Coelho's Fifth Mountain, it will always stay like that and nothing will change. We won't grow, we won't improve. But if you choose to do something every day to improve, it's gonna lead to massive, massive uh, difference in the future. You won't even be able to recognize yourself in a few months and I don't even have to speak about a few years because it, it will be so huge, huge changes but you have to realize first to become uh, like conscious of that that you have time for yourself to improve and to change something to get better now fourth lesson is one really really uh, for me a huge lesson it's really short but it, it gets it to the core and it says uh, it's also a quote uh, it says his heart uh, was happy and it was enough for him it, it says it all like uh, it's the, the main goal we should chase. Uh, of course, you can't always just focus on, on happiness. Of course, you have to think about resources and actually surviving. But after all that, the main, main thing is we have to chase and f uh, strive to find happiness in our everyday work. We have to be really uh, curious and we have to explore everything we can do and we have to find something that makes us happy and we have to strive to to find and start working on something that will actually uh, make us happy every day that will uh, spark the fire uh, spark the fire in us and that we're gonna be looking forward to uh, going to work every day because we're doing something we're really passionate about we're really enjoying our work and our heart is happy and when your heart is happy no money can replace that. If you're making so much money, but you're not happy in what you're doing, you're probably gonna give up, give that up for something. Uh, when you're gonna be le making less money, but your heart is gonna be happy, you're gonna be enjoying every moment. And I, I would always choose some, something I'm enjoying more uh, every day. Something I really love doing before something that I will make a lot of money and, and have a lot of like uh, financial resources or whatever so that's why you have we really have to find uh, every one of us has to find that for for himself something that we're enjoying and that we love what we do every day and our final fifth lesson is that actually uh, it combines it's really close to the main idea uh, but i will reveal that idea really soon so fifth lesson is that be useful for others because giving and sharing will make you more happy than, ta than taking uh, from others. Because uh, I, I hope you have experienced this, because I, I have experienced this so many times, and that's why I love actually giving and sharing. Uh, when you do something good for others, so for example, when you uh, give someone a present, when you buy someone a chocolate or ice cream, or when you even give someone a compliment, or say them a good word, uh, uh, support someone, uh, when you just give so something to someone, uh, whatever it, it, it could be word or uh, some uh, present, uh, you feel so good because it, it just makes you happy to see other person being happy from what you did. And there are no words to, to explain that, but it's just the best feeling uh, when you give to, to others. And 
but when you give without expecting anything in return that's the giving I'm, I'm talking about and when you give in, in that way uh, it it really uh, will uh, come back to you in the future in so so much more so much uh, more uh, actually volume than you can even think of and uh, that's that only happens when you give without expecting anything in re return just be be good and kind to others it really it's the the best feeling actually you, I think people a uh, human can experience and now I wanna uh, reveal that uh, main idea Charles Dickens is talking about in this this book and this this idea is actually uh, uh, in the whole book just uh, the main main idea uh, is that uh, we should do good to people around us and we should actually talk to, to those people and be connected with them just do, do good to those people not uh, trying to only do something for our own uh, good for our own benefit but actually uh, help other people make them smile uh, give actually as, as it was uh, said in the fifth lesson be good to others and uh, do good to others because when your soul, your soul is gonna be uh, really really happy and satisfied when you're doing something good to others and uh, you're gonna actually accomplish that mission uh, that's, uh, that was a uh, first lesson that your soul has to move uh, around uh, with uh, his, their brothers and sisters that you have to talk to, to people uh, close to you and uh, all the people in this world and doing all that, all that uh, you're gonna accomplish that mission and you're actually gonna be happy at, at the end of the day and at the end of the life because no one wants to, to uh, be laying on their uh, deathbed, the be deathbed and regretting anything so uh, remember this main idea uh, do good to others and give more than you take because giving will make you more happy than uh, taking ever will so I hope this was helpful uh, of course I recommend you to read uh, the Christmas story because it's really really a book that will teach you a lot of lessons uh, it will make you conscious about actually uh, enjoying life and appreciating appreciating life a little bit more and of course if this was helpful I'm sure you're gonna enjoy watching uh, the three biggest lessons from the Paulo Coelho's fifth month thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video